On this episode of Armitage Garage, we're actually not going to be in the garage, we're actually in the office. And I just want to talk about some of the troubleshooting and diagnosis I've done on my uh, 2014 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Uh, it, over the last few months, I've been battling this wandering steering problem. I, I checked everything from tie rod ends, drag link ends, uh, ball joints. Um, I've checked, you know, uh, the track bar bushings. I checked uh, control arm bushings and everything checked out just fine. The only thing that has a bit of play in it is the actual steering box itself. Now, I was getting ready to basically shell out a bunch of dough and buy a brand new steering box. But I thought before I drop that amount of coin, I better check the alignment. And I did. The caster was fine, which makes sense because the Jeep is only lifted one inch. Um, but the toe was out just an eighth of an inch. Just an eighth of an inch. Now, let's dive into that a little bit. So whenever you read on forums and things, they always mention the magic number of one-eighth of an inch towed in, one-eighth of an inch towed in. Well, what does that really mean? So on a rear-wheel drive vehicle, like the Jeep Wrangler, you always want the wheels to be towed in. And so if this is the front of the vehicle, you notice that the front wheels are kind of pointed inwards just a little bit. And that's all real wheel drive vehicles want that. And so what they mean by one eighth inch towed in is that the diff, that the distance between the tires on the back side of the tires is one eighth inch greater than the distance between the tires on the front side of the tires. So in other words, what forms are saying is that XR minus XF should be one eighth of an inch. <clears throat> now, I measured my toe to be one quarter inch toe in. That's pretty good. That's only plus one eighth of an inch more toe in. That's pretty close, I thought. But when I had the Jeep in the garage, I had the tools out, I thought I might as well just set the toe to be exactly one eighth of an inch. Um, and I was happy to, to, to find out that the Jeep started driving absolutely perfect. It was like showroom condition again. It literally solved my problem. I couldn't believe it. That one eighth of an inch on 32 inch tires made such a big difference. And so why? Why does one eighth of an inch make so much of a difference? Well, let's look at the math. So whenever you, if you ever take your vehicle in to go get an alignment done at the dealership or at a garage, or, or you ever look online and get your real alignment specs, they usually don't spec your toe in terms of inches or, or centimeters. They usually spec it in terms of degrees. And for a Jeep Wrangler, they want your toe in to be somewhere in the range of 0 0.07 and 0 0.13 degrees. So the midpoint is 0 0.1 degrees there. So that's where your, that's the specs for our Jeep Wranglers. Now, what, what angle is that? What does that actually mean? Well, let's draw it out. Okay. 
So what that angle is, is the angle between the direction that our tires are pointed okay and the center line so it's this angle here call it angle theta and under ideal conditions when a vehicle is going straight the other tire is going to be doing the exact same thing Okay, it's always going to be symmetrical under ideal conditions, so that angle is theta as well. So, our Jeep Wranglers want that angle to be somewhere in between 0 0.07 and 0 0.13. Okay, now, in a garage, what we know is, again, we know this distance. xf and we know this distance which is xr and we also know this distance which is the diameter of our tire and in for a stock jk it is about approximately 32 inches okay <clears throat> now as I mentioned, the difference, or delta x, is equal to xr minus xf, okay? And, and that main difference between the rear and the front of the tires is basically the, the, the sum of this distance and this distance, okay? And they're both identical. And be, as I mentioned, everything's symmetrical. And we'll call that distance x1, okay? And so x1, again, is just delta x over 2. Okay. So the difference, or delta x, is the, com is the contribution of these two distances, right? And we know that they're the identical. So we can just say, we can assume that that distance of x1 is equal to delta x divided by 2. Okay? So now let's draw this imaginary triangle on a new page. Okay? We'll do some math. Again, this is d and this is x1 okay and this is the angle that we're looking for again this is our imaginary vertical line that's parallel to the center line this is the edge of our tire okay and we know its diameter and this is again an imaginary distance x1 okay and this is also a this imaginary triangle that we've drawn up is also a right angle triangle so trigonometry tells us that the sine of an angle in a right angle triangle is equal to the length of its opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse okay so in this case the opposite side of theta is equal to x1 And the hypotenuse, which is the opposite to the right angle, is the diameter of our tire. Okay, and now we want to solve for our angle theta. So we take the inverse sine of both sides. So that leaves us with theta is equal to x1 over d. Now, remember that we mentioned that x1 is equal to delta x over 2. So we can sub that into here and get a nice equation with, with real values. So what we get is, again, delta x over 2. And we won't forget about our d. So there is our new formula 
that calculates our toe in angle. Okay, and remember we said the magic number uh, that we see on forums all the time is delta x is equal to one eighth of an inch. Okay, and again for a stock vehicle, our d is 32 inches. If we plug those numbers into this formula, we get an angle of approximately 0 0.11 degrees. And that is exactly within spec and almost right bang on in the middle of our, of our applicable range. So that's where that one eighth of an inch comes from. It's, it's basically the midpoint of our, of our uh, toe in range. Now, remember that I said my toe that was giving me some handling problems was one quarter of an inch towed in. Again, my tires are approximately 32. Well, they're more like 33 or 34, but it doesn't matter. Diameter has a small contribution to this formula. But if we plug those numbers in, we get an angle of 0 0.22, 0 0.22 degrees, which is greater than our spec of 0 0.13. So by having my toed in, my toe in measurements, only one eighth of an inch difference that put my toe out of alignment. So in conclusion, before you spend any money on any steering parts, check your alignment. Okay. Conclusion two, understand the implications of the measurements. Okay. And even better, use the formula that we just derived. Okay and make sure that it's in within our Jeep angle specs. Okay, if you like this video, you found it helpful, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That Those actions really, really help out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for watching and tune in next time.